Hi, I'm Mass Dave, and here is a question that came video 1202, and the user address is destroy underscore communism. The question is, how would one know if they have an issue with the spark gap in the lightning arrestor? The answer is the spark gap will short. If it shorts, you'll have a very high SWR. So that's one of the things you can look at. I've got a lightning arrestor right here that I keep. Uh, it's got coax comes in the end. This side's connected to ground. And the actual spark tube is inside and is this little thing right here. Now that thing is designed to fail shorted. So if it's shorted, it will short your cable and then you just go looking for a lightning arrestor and see if that's where you have your short. Now, if you think, well, maybe, you know, anything could have shorted it, it could be up on the tower. This is where you use the part of your antenna analyzer or VNA that determines the length of your coax. And the way it does that, it goes out to the first obstruction, either short or open, and then comes back. The wave is fully reflected. It will measure the round trip time and tell you how long you go from where you're measuring it to where the coax is shorted. And if that's just 15 feet, it's probably from your shack down to the lightning arrestor. That's what it will do. So there you have it. Until we next meet, 73.